Hello, this is my entrance for the Daily Mix competition. I'm going to do quite a short beauty haul video for you. Um, it's just got a few products. I didn't buy them all at the same time. I bought them over the past couple of weeks or so, I'd say. Some of them are things that I've repurchased and some of them are new things. So here is what I got and what I thought about them. Hope you enjoy. First one I'm going to start with is this L'Oreal Paris hairspray. Um, it's one of their studio line products and what actually first caught my eye about this was the packaging because it's orange and purple and that's two of my favourite colours. Um, but actually as a product it says that it um, gives back combed volume and instant matte texture which is something that I was looking for actually because I like to add a bit more volume to my hair but I hate it being like just gunked up with product or crunchy or it looks like you put product in it I like it to look natural um, and I've got quite a lot of fine hair so I've given this a go a couple of times and actually I've got it in my hair at the moment and it helped me do this um, back combed boofy sort of look so I would actually quite recommend that because it smells really nice and um, it kind of does what it says on the tin so that was number one the next thing that I bought recently was this Professional Agent Zero Shine Powder by Benefit. So I've tried the primer which comes from Benefit and I do really like that so I thought I'd give this powder a go because I'm one of those people that has a bit of combination skin so sort of in my t-zone gets a bit oily around about the middle of the day and I'm always struggling to find a foundation that will sit all day while I'm at work so I thought I'd give this one a go and um, I've only used it once so far but I'll show you inside what I really like about it is that in the bottom if you just pull down the thing it's got a really nice you can clip it down, it's got a really soft, nice brush that you can apply it with. You just open the top, unscrew it and tip a bit of powder into the pot. And um, you actually, well I didn't really use much at all when I tried it the first time. I just put it on my T-zone area where I find that it needs it the most. And um, it worked really well. In fact, when I came to checking my makeup around about 3 o'clock, it didn't really need any re-blending. I just gave it a quick buff with a brush, didn't add any more products and it was fine. So that gets a massive thumbs up from me. It's a bit more on the pricey range, but it's sort of average price for benefit really, 20 something pounds. Um, but I can imagine it's probably going to last quite a long time because, like I said, I didn't use hardly any of it. And um, I like their packaging as well. I think their packaging is always spot on, to be honest. This has that sort of retro glam look. So all of their stuff always looks nice on your dressing table um, and on your face. So that was number two. Number three is one of my repurchase products. And this is the classic collection um, concealer lasting perfection and this I just think is an absolute must in any makeup bag whether you use concealer to cover under eye bags or cover your spots I use it to cover under my eyes I just think for about four pound you cannot go wrong with this it lasts for ages it blends really nicely um, you know it's easy to just grab from boots or super jug uh, I mean, it doesn't look like much the packaging is quite minimal to be honest and I always tend to find that it wears off after a while so you just end up with a black lid and a cream product but I don't really mind any of that as long as it works nicely on my face so um, I've bought that one again basically because I used the other one up so I know I'll be using that one up and probably buying more so I am always banging on to everyone get yourself one of these because I think it's definitely worth a go. The next one is a bit of a random one actually and it's called New Nail Cream. <laughs> if, when you look at the packaging it looks completely naff actually if you ask me. Um, I think it looks like something that you get free in a hotel room but this was recommended to me by my lovely Nan who the last time I saw her had gorgeous strong looking healthy white nails that she said just keep growing and that's one of the things that I would really like to have but my nails are always breaking probably because they've constantly got gel colour on them um, so I asked her what she used and she recommended this so um, I've got a little tube of it and I'm giving it a go you just have to rub it on a few times a day on your cuticle and around the edges and then after a few weeks you only have to do it sort of once a day so I'm religiously trying to stick to keep doing it because 
I'm one of those people that thinks, oh yeah, I'll go out and get that and try it. And then I do it a couple of times and it just ends up in the bottom of my bag somewhere. So um, it, it doesn't smell that great. It doesn't look that great. It's not expensive, but judging by my Nan's nails, um, it works really well. So I'm gonna give it a go and hopefully, fingers crossed, my nails won't be paper thin for much longer. Last but not least, I went and bought myself the Naked 3 palette. So this isn't a new or amazing or unheard of product for anyone, to be honest. This was, it, when this came out, everywhere you looked, it was Naked 3 palette, Naked 3 palette. Um, so I just thought I really would like to get that. The colours in this, just in case you haven't seen it already, um, they're very sort of pinky tones. Um, I'm not normally a pink eyeshadow sort of person, but um, coming into spring and summer this year, I know that I'm going to be wanting sort of fresh, dewy makeup with pink colours, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. Um, I like the fact that with this one, the lid clips shut, because with Naked One, um, it's just sort of like a flappy lid, and um, I sort of tend to find it goes all over your makeup bag. So um, I've given a few of the colours a go, and what is also good about this one is it's got a couple of matte shades so for everyday makeup looks like for when you're going to work um, I tend to find that just a bit of matte contouring on the eyes is best and then it's got a nice bit of shimmer if you want to add a little bit of pop to it or you want to do a smoky eye for the evening I'm always saying to people if you want to do a smoky eye and you're a bit scared then try a naked palette because whether you get one two or three they've all got such blendable colours you could pick any set of colours out of the whole palette and if you blended enough with your brush it would all look like you'd spent ages picking them out to go together so I think it's brilliant for those people that are not so brave um, with makeup just to give a go so I really like this palette you get a nice brush with it as well um, it's a bit more pricey than some others but it lasts for a really really long time so and I think it's always nice to have something that looks a little bit glam in your makeup bag because um, sometimes in the morning it cheers you up a bit so there we have it that are those are all of my beauty products that I bought recently um, I'm going to keep buying a lot more and there was actually more than that that I've bought but those are just the ones I chose to talk about so I hope you enjoyed that and possibly saw a couple of products that you haven't seen before or tried so thanks for listening and bye